Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at a potential fantastic feud I can see in AEW, which would be CM Punk going up against MJF. This one will be insane because both these guys are absolutely fantastic on the mic. Both have an incredible promo in them as well. So it'll be fantastic to see what the pair of them can actually do. Oh, let's skip that. We'll have a little bit of MJS promo, uh, promo entrance. Of course, we saw CM Punk's yesterday. But yeah, the promo-wise, this back and forth could be amazing. And this is one thing that I spoke about yesterday could happen this Friday night if CM Punk does make his debut. Can you imagine the noise if live in Chicago, cult of personality hits? Out walks none other than MJF. The crowd go absolutely crazy. The amount of heat that MJF would pick up would be absolutely insane. And then out comes Punk. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen because I think MJF is still pretty much tied up with um, with Chris Jericho at the moment. I'm not quite sure. Are they finishing things off oh, on Dynamite next week? And there we go, MJF with a cheap shot straight away. Referee rings the bell. And that does make a lot of sense. MJF getting that cheeky little right hand in before the match even begins with that dodgy appeal at a shake of hands. Big uppercut by Punk. And now drop kick in the shoulder of MJF. Punk now with a big boot into the spine as well. And another big boot into the spine. MJF now back up on his feet. But Punk is there ready. Ready? He's there ready and waiting. Ready and waiting. Is that the words I'm trying to say? I think it is. That's four on there in the face. But Punk fights back, springs off the ropes and gets caught with the uppercut again. But now dropping MJF across his throat on that middle rope. Yeah, this would be a fantastic feud, and I don't know how it would go. Obviously, with MJF with a pinnacle behind him, would CM Punk need to create his own group of people to try and back him up, or would Punk go solo? It would be interesting to see how they would pull it off. I mean, I've got no idea where Punk would go with his initial feud. I've got a... I mean, it would be one hell of a surprise if Punk and Brian... I wouldn't be surprised because I've, I've just said it, but can you imagine if Punk and Brian both debut on Friday night and they both agree to a match at All Out? And that's going to be their debut matches in the company. They can do promos and so forth for the next few weeks, but Punk versus Brian as a return match at All Out I think would be incredible. They could talk about never being given the opportunity to prove themselves in front of the grandest stage of all in WWE. And the fact that they want to prove themselves here. And that could build up to a quite a simple face versus face huge match at um, All Out. Where one of the guys can take a heel turn, I suppose. It would be a good way of doing it. I mean, because a lot of things are already tied up. We've got Christian going for the AEW Championship, of course. We've got Pac and Andrade going at it. It's probably going to end up being Cody versus Malachi Black again. Um, the Bucks will probably end up again. I don't know about the Bucks at this point in time, to be honest. It felt like the Acclaimed were going to get the push, but with what's happened with Max Caster recently, I'm not sure that's going to happen or not, to be honest. But yeah, that's really what I could see Punk doing, potentially. Uh, but this is a good little uh, back-and-forth match. Like I said, MJF for me is... Like, he is the prime future heel of that company. He really is. He's sort of, um, what's the best way of putting it? He's sort of tweened. He's always been a mega heel, but not officially a mega heel until uh, he turned on Jericho and created the pinnacle as a stable. Now he's really being pushed as that mega maniacal heel. And I think it is such a perfect role for him, especially having his goon squad behind him to back him up. It really does bode really well for him. As he gets dropped, oh, I got first. I thought he was going to go for the GTS there, but Punk decided there was more damage to be done first. Punk now heading up onto the top, looking for that big macho man Randy Savage style elbow into the heart of Majuf. Now in with a pin for the one, two, and he's got it. He's got it with the elbow drop on MJF. 
There we go. Okay, so MJF was on plus seven in the rankings. He now drops down to plus six, whereas Chick Magnet Punk was on minus one, now moves up to zero in our rankings. And there we go. Um, so, so far, Punk is 2-0 and oh in, this, uh, in this week of showcasing some of the best matches he could be involved in. I've sort of named this week Cult of Personality. Whoa, it's the Cult of Personality. But there we go. CM Punk victorious against MJF. Like I said, for me, I think that'll be an absolutely incredible for you just because of how great both guys are on the mic. And I really feel like it could be a, a real war of words. And I feel like the match could have the quality to back that up as well. Well, there we go. We'll call that one it for tonight. Hope you've enjoyed. Of course, if you have hit the like, subscribe, and all the other good stuff. And I will see you again next time for our next video in this CM Punk week of personality. That's a really stupid way of putting it. I'm going. Bye-bye.